There's been a lot of questions on how to put the king pin blind together or, or king pin blind on top of the king pin tower. So we're here today, me and James is, and we are going to assemble this for you guys, go through it step by step. First thing we're going to do is show you what we do as far as organizing everything. Get you some cups, get all the hardware, screws, bolts, washers, all that, get it all separated. Then get all your pieces separated in order from step. Go ahead and read through your directions. Get all the parts and pieces in order, get them laid out. That way you're not searching for each piece. So first thing is open the boxes, see what's in there. Got dad's granddad. He gave that to me the other day. Yeah. Now you definitely don't want to tear up the boxes too bad because if you're out in the woods, you want to have something to put your bolts on. This right here is your tent. This will actually go on last. And if you want to use this for a tarp, you can. All the hardware is in there. The bolts, the nuts, they all came in a bag. So this is what I'm talking about, organizing them. I go ahead and dump them out in this box. But before we even get started, we're going to put all the same size bolts in their own cup. Now, if you're out in the woods, you want to go ahead and just use a bag or Ziploc bag or something, trust me, it is a lot easier to separate everything. So while James is separating, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the kingpin, the tower anyways. Now what we want to do is, you want to keep all them for the blind. All this is for the tower. that we have everything separated uh, like I told you what I like to do is get some throwaway cups get some Ziploc bags get whatever and separate all your bolts and nuts that way you're not searching through and you know losing one in the grass then go ahead and get your instructions out and try to line up each piece as you know the assembly tells you to as far as each step. So this over here on the right is the kingpin blind. That's all the material for that, and all the parts and pieces. Over here on the left of James here, we've got the tire blind, the tire kit. So that's all separated. We like to use cordless drills and then some wrenches, sockets, but I like to go ahead and get a tape measure because there are different size bolts as far as lengths. And get your tape measure. You got inch and a quarter, inch and three quarters, inch and a half. I can't tell a quarter inch difference. One thing you don't want to do is get it all together and all of a sudden your last bolt's too short and you got to find out which one you used in the wrong spot. So make sure you use all the bolts. How do you know it goes like that? Well, you want that hole to line up with this hole. Do that for now. One thing I don't like to do, I don't like to tighten everything up all the way, leave it all loose just in case. Got a bolt. Man, it's hot.
Now you definitely want to watch out for these because you got to check and see which ones line up correctly. So this is how right here that all four corners need to go on. So you got to line them up. Now they're they're not going to be, you know, perfect as far as lining up, but you can tell which ones go with which once you get them up. So right there, see how that lines up? So you wouldn't want to put this over here because that cocks too far or you, you don't want to do that. So you get them lined up just like the instructions say. Bring it over here guys. Yep, the, the bent part goes to the top. The next step in the instruction manual wants us to go ahead and put these on. Okay, but if you're short like me, even kind of semi-tall like James, it's hard to reach up top. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put the top half together and then lift it up. So go ahead and put these on. Put these together, which Maddie and Tripp already had these three put together. Thank you guys. And put the center together. And you always want to make sure you got your tent that's going to go on top. You do not want your bolt sticking up. You're going to rip your tent. So all your bolts need to be the head on the outside and your bolt on the inside. So now we are gonna lift and we're gonna put the top half on. Can I do my own? Yep, you do yours first. Let me help you. Hey, it's a little tough, honey. Now you go help trip. Okay. All right. There we go, guys. That was a lot easier because guess what? I can't reach up there. And I don't have a bucket with me. I guess I could have stood on Maddie's shoulders. So next is the cross brace. Now, there's only three you notice. You gotta realize that there's a door on one side. So you only put three of these on and then your door assembly will go on last. You wanna put the bolt in first. All right, I'm gonna give James a bolt. Then put that in. Wait, which side does the, the nut go on? The inside. Yep. The flat side goes like this? Yep. Good job. Now you want to make sure that it's in there perfectly. They will be angled. Okay, they, they won't be able to be straight, so they're angled like that. <coughs> so you will take one of these and bolt it just like that. Okay, okay on all four of them. Those right there. All right. The reason they call this a locking nut, and the reason it stops like that, is there is a plastic washer in here, and it stops, but then when you start to screw it on, that plastic forms in there and it keeps the bolt from coming back out. Guys, right here is what Field Defeast is all about. It's not just about taking a kid out hunting. It's about having them help put tree stands together, ground blinds, tower blinds, food plots, hanging cameras and all that. This right here is just the start of their year. We get all equipment ready. Next is gonna be food plots, sure. Then everything's, all the work's done. Now it's a pleasure just going and setting in this big thing and relaxing, correct? Yep, you got four more to put on. Thank you.
you've got holes right here. So you definitely want them to go sideways. Alright? Don't matter how how it goes in. No, he's not. Hey. Yeah, you don't want to stick it in the ground. <laughs> Give me another one, Maddie, right there. No, no, I need one of those. All right, I need one more window. This right here is where a lot of people will mess up because they don't know to put the mesh in. Another thing is it's dull and it's shiny. So you want the shiny part sticking outward. One and a half. There again, you want this to go downward. This here, when you have the windows closed, these will be closed. So then all you got to do is slide them open. You don't want to cross thread them, honey. Now we put these in last because just in case we had to take the top off. So, actually we forgot, James said we better put them in. Your top one goes on just like these did. So, we will get all the dirt out. All of these bars have holes drilled in right here. Your sides and your back, you don't really have to worry about these holes. But the reason these holes are in here is for your doorway. There's gonna be a window here and a window here. One goes on that side and one goes on this side. Nope, just this one. Yep. Hang on a second. For your your ground, absolutely. Go there. Then here. Then here. Then there. What that does is it keeps when you move this up and down, yeah. keeps it from making noise. Take it through. Now both of these will go on because you want to make enough space for this and this. So that'll go on top. No, we don't. <laughs> Quit being mean. So there you go. Now, guess what we got to do. Take this back apart. Put that on? No, we gotta slide this back on there. See? That's what I said. Don't get ahead of yourself. That's what I said. Oh, that's I said that. I was like, what about those? Good, yeah. Come here, and you can help me on this side, Drip. All right, guys. 
It's actually pretty simple to put the x Kingpin king pin blind up. But you do have to pay attention. You gotta follow each step, but it's not that hard. I'm gonna make an excuse because we had two kids, I had a fireman, you know, I, I had a lot of handicaps. So that being said, all we have next to do is tighten everything down. One of the reasons I don't tighten everything down as we go is one, if you gotta take something off, it messed with your nylock nut. So then it kind of messes that up. Two is if you tighten everything up from top to bottom, your top might not line up. So keep everything loose. Now we'll go back through with our cordless drills, tighten everything down. Everything's tight. The king pin blind is put together. It's sturdy. Nice. We gotta put the bottom on. This here has to go on the base of the tower. So we're gonna set it back. We're gonna put the floor together. Then the floor bolts onto this. If you're out in the wild, please pick up all this trash. The little squares here have to match up. These have to match up, all right? So then we're going to get the K bolts, which K is two and a quarter. And that's the reason you get the handy dandy tape measure. So two and a quarter by five sixteenths. You gotta measure from here to here, not the whole thing. So anyways, we need four of these. Because there's gonna be a lot of movement on it, every nut and every bolt gets a washer on it. There you go. Now, because these are tough to get to, we are going to go ahead and snug these up. All right, now we got the platform together. We're going to need those two L-shaped brackets. So we're going to stand this up. They're going to go just like this. Then. Right here and right there. Let me get the right size bolts. We are going to go ahead and tighten these down just because they're these aren't going to move. So these are quarter inch. I've not put together the seats because we do a lot of filming and the seats are in the middle. I take the seats out so we can set as far back. But these seats are phenomenal. They swivel 360, so we are going to go ahead and put them on for everybody. Am I gonna sit right here and you're gonna sit right here? We're both. If we put these on, we would both want them back. Okay, so. Is this the back of the blind right here? Where the ladder is? Yeah, this is the ladder side. So. Okay, we'll go right here. Sure, you got it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I didn't know the back was in the ladder side. These are cool. This mine's cool. Now, he's already got it. Turn him sideways, you'll be able to get in there on him. Good. There's the seats, guys. Now look at this. Fold up 360 degrees. Fold down to get out of your way. Now, like I said, you can put them in the front if you're using the rail, or you can put them to the back if you got a cameraman or you're using any type of tripod. The back end's back here, so there's your chairs. We're gonna go outside the box here. Typically, we wanna put the legs on first, but because we are using the, the kingpin blind to put on top, it's gonna to be hard to put that on and then try to lift it up. So, we're going to put this on first, then put the sections on as we lift it up. Set it right down on. Your spikes will go on the outside corner. There you go. Now this is where the extra bolts of the blind come in. These here. They go through this hole, through that hole. So go ahead and get you a, a nut to screw on there while I hold it. Got it? Now, with these king pin blinds, you don't want to go to this, to that hole, to that hole, to that hole. Do it kind of out like a tire. Go to this one, go to the one across. That way, they'll all eventually line up. We got all the bolts in. Um, like I said, I like putting it on down here on the ground. Now, what we'll do is we'll tilt it up. We'll put the legs on it, just the lower half. Then we'll tilt it up, put the back lower half on. Tilt it up, put the last lower half on. So. All right, so this is where we do it a little different. We hope this helps everybody. We're not gonna put this bottom part on. So, we're gonna take it, we're gonna roll it back. All the way. It'll work. Grab this. That in. And on your ladder side, make sure your bolts are sticking to the outside. That way you don't come up here and hook your clothing. Hey, 
this is where a piece of your cardboard you wanted to keep this is where it's going to come in handy to put in here so the dirt don't get packed up but we also need to put these on okay now you always want to make sure which side that goes on so if you look the blind is facing this way or your entrance is right here okay your step is on the outside not the inside the outside so that's when you get out your step is away from the blind a little bit you don't want it on the inside because then you're gonna have to reach inside so you always put it on the outside Now here, you want washer, washer, put in. down here there's two bars that angle that's where these go on to they go on right here okay because they want to angle out all right we're going to rock it to one side got it yep. which way no matter don't matter Got it? Okay, you want to be the tall guy or you want me to? I'll be the tall guy. All right, now, it does, you know, take a pretty strong fella here, but both of us are going to lift it up. But we're going to tilt it halfway or half the height of the tower blind instead of the whole 12 foot. So we're going to take both of us. Now, I'm gonna go take a break. Uh, James here, he's gonna hold this the rest of the night. I made fun of him for not hitting the hole. I can't even hit the first hole. How did it look? I feel like I'm at a carnival. So next, we're going to get the front end done. Now, we don't have to tilt this one back as far because it's only half as tall as James. You going to lift? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to help him balance it. We got the ladder on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna tilt it over again. James, you wanna go right up there in that corner? I got this. Just tilt it. Right now we got that leg on. Now, we're going to now go ahead and tilt it up and we're gonna put that last leg on. We got the ladder, I got this. Ready? Stay on. Oh, smooth. But, as tall as that is, if we tried to lift it all the way up, it flips over on you. So with two people, that right there is the best way that I've found out to raise the King Ken. Hi right, guys, me and James are out here. 
um, finishing up the kingpin tower. So we're going to show you how to put the bracings on. Um, you definitely have to pay attention to it because you don't want to do it two or three times. So we want to show you some measurements of female one is your 13 inch. 13 inches from here to here is female one. Okay, female two is seven inches from here to here. Then female three is 15 inches from here to here. Okay, so you definitely want to make sure that's correct. The female part has to be on top. Also, make sure that your bracings are on the outside of your tabs. Let's go ahead and put on the female two support. And those will actually run from your steps up to the back bracing. And that'll actually be both female twos. So those will go on right here and go up. Short to this cut. brace. Two is a seven inch. Female three will go from the top of the steps down to the bottom of the back brace. You want to line up these holes right here. That's where it's done that. Or that, that's what this is for. So put your smaller bolt through <coughs> and your side will line up. And then James over there is doing that one. You got one more? Yep. So that's how you put the kingpin blind on top of the kingpin tower.